Hello everyone and welcome to the first Midnight Arrow devlog. If you aren't familiar with this game, I have a video where I tell you its story, but basically it is a puzzle platformer where you have to combine your platforming and problem solving skills to progress in the game. I have just woken up, it is roughly 11 o'clock and after a short morning routine, I go straight to work. I like to do the most important task for thing in the morning, because most people are more productive this way, so you can also try that if you want. This also means that you can't eat, so I'm going to work on finishing the fourth level of the game right now, and then I'll eat something. Okay, so now I'm testing the level. There are so many guidelines for making a good level that I couldn't fit them in one video without making it boring, so I'll just bring a few. For example, while I'm testing the game, I can quickly edit the level and the game will update the new layout in real time. And also, I have some tools in the level editor that allow me to copy and paste structures. All these things make the development process smoother and faster, and this means that I can make sure that every level feels exactly as intended. There is an optional quest in each level, and for this one you have to collect 3 mushrooms scattered around the map. There are a total of 5 mushrooms in the level, so I went a little easier on the player, but let's talk again a little about the game design. The NPC will tell you that you should look for places where there is grass or there is water. This will hint to the player where to look to find the secrets. You should reward the, the player's curiosity, so for that I have hidden a mushroom before the quest. This will spark his curiosity if he finds it, and also will motivate him to finish the quest since he already is one step ahead. I can't show you where it is though, because I don't want to spoil the secret for when you will play the game. Ok, I have almost finished the level. And this is good because I was getting hungry. So I'm going to finish it now. I have to go to the gym at some point, and I want to finish the game before I do that, because after that, I think I want to meet a friend so he can also test the level. So the testing went pretty well, and you can see from the video that I went to meet my friend in person, and that is very important. If you give your game to someone to test it, he will probably tell you that he likes it and at best give you one good feedback info, but if you watch them play the game, you will find out 10 things that you can improve in your game or level. So pay attention to what they say, where they struggle and where the game is actually too easy, so we can tune it later. Now, I only have two levels to go, and this might not seem much, but it actually is, because I want the last one to include all the mechanics of the game. And it will be very big, so it will take me some time to finish it. But it will be totally worth it. If you like my content, don't forget to wishlist my game on Steam, because it really helps the Steam algorithm. And if you want to win a free copy of the game, join my Discord server, because I will do giveaways when I release the game. And when you join my Discord server, don't forget to share your personal projects because we will all like to see them. So, see you there.